Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, actually, you know, I wasn't really planning to record, but um, I just washed my hair and I was checking my Instagram, my Snapchat, and I've been getting so much questions about my hair and how I'm getting it to look like so ringlety, if that's even a word. That's gonna be a word today. Ringlety. Ringlety, but like perfect ringlets. And I've been using a different technique on how I'm applying the products to my hair. And I thought, you know what, it only makes sense for me to create a video and upload it so that if someone asks me, I can just be like, hey, go check out my channel, right? <laughs> I'm such a nerd, I swear. Well, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. What's up? What's going on? Um, yes, I did cut my hair. Just in case you didn't watch any of my previous curly hair videos for whatever case, whatever the case may be. But yes, I recently cut my hair and I already feel like my hair is growing super quick. I don't know how, but that's just how I feel. I just washed my hair and I'm going to show you guys my new technique that I've been using lately. So when applying my product to my hair, I always, always, always say this. I like to apply my product to my hair when my hair is wet because that's when I feel like I get... Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, I get wet because my clothes gets wet. And I feel like that's when I get uh, my best results. So the products I'll be using today is by Curls. Hey, these complement the background, eh? <laughs> so these are the products I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the Blueberry Bliss reparative leave-in conditioner and the blueberry bliss curl control jelly so this is more of like a cream based product and this is more of like a gel but a light gel to start off i'm going to be working in sections and i have not like usually when i apply my product to my hair i part my hair in two and i kind of just use the prayer method but i'm actually going to be working in sections so i'm going to just section off some hair i'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner there's nothing in my hair right now so about um not even a dime size this is yo to curly girls when we say a dime size we be squeezing out literally half the bottle we be squeezing out half the bottle and saying it's a dime size this is about i don't know i don't even know what to call that two dime size but yes i'm just going to rake the one thing i like about um the curls conditioner is their products are really moisturizing. That's the one thing that I like about their product. And you know, you really want those products that are moisturizing to help reduce frizz and just to keep your hair from being all like dry. Come out. I'm gonna be applying the curl control deli, and this is my styling product. Um, sometimes I feel like it doesn't even make sense. I'm showing you guys how much I use, but just in case you're curious, because I feel like everyone's hair type is different and. You're gonna use different amounts. Some people like to quote a lot of product in their, in their hair, some people don't. Some people's hair is thick, some people's hair is thin, where they don't need to use a lot of product. Next, I'm gonna go in with this brush. Um, I don't even know. I got this brush as a gift, and it's the bristles are kind of similar to the Denman brush. Um, that's why I've been using this because I've been getting like the same results other people are getting, or I've seen people getting when they use a Denman brush. So, this is like a I don't even know what to call this brush, but the bristles are almost like the Denman brush. Um, so this is what I'm going to be using. So basically, I just brush my hair from the top to the bottom. Distribute the. This is a great way to also distribute the product throughout your hair. And this also clumps your curls together. But there's nothing wrong with clump curls because once they're once your hair is fully dry, you're just gonna separate them, which I'll show you guys. So I already have some lump curls. I don't even know if you guys can see. There's a lump curl right here. But I just leave it. I don't even separate it. I just shake it. Shake. I think this is also called the shingle method if I'm not mistaken.
on one big ass clump of curls. I think I can separate that though. This is what the brush did. It kind of gave me like some clumped curls, which is okay because when my hair is dry, I can just separate them, which I, as I said before, I'm going to show you guys once it's dried. But yeah, I got some like perfect ringlets. It's still a bit wet, so I'm going to have to use my towel to kind of take out some of the water. Focus. So guys, it's been literally a good four hours. And as you, can, as you guys can see, my hair shrunk up a bit and it's still wet. This is the one thing I hate about air drying because it takes forever. It literally takes forever and it all depends like how wet your hair is. I'm out of breath because I just ran out my stairs. And now I'm gonna have to go back on the road and do what I gotta do until my hair is fully dry. And I haven't really been touching it because I don't want any frizz. They're just slowly like unraveling, but. Yep, still wet. It's almost dried though. But yeah, as you guys can see, like the clumps are there. I can't wait to separate these. This is like the exciting part. <laughs> but I just want to show you guys how it's been roughly three to four hours and it's still freaking wet. So I guess I'll be back once again. So, I'm so tired guys, but it's been a couple hours. It's literally like, I think eight something, is it eight something? I think it's eight something in the night. And mind you guys, I started doing this around one or two something. I don't even remember what time it was, but my hair is dry. Actually, some of it still feels wet, but I'm just going to separate some of my curls. I was actually laying down, so actually from laying down, I got a little bit of frizz, but whatever.